For supporters of Hosni Mubarak, it's been a roller coaster ride since the January uprising. Many felt betrayed. They were bad times. It wasn't a revolution. It was a plan to create chaos and remove a man who served the country well, as a soldier and as the president. They kept a low profile for the next year or so. The first attempt at democracy, the 2012 elections, offered little to cheer. Islamist Mohamed Morsi narrowly defeated former Prime Minister Ahmed Shafi. It was a nightmare for many of us. We had to choose between a man who represented an era of corruption and another who represented Islamic extremism. We are glad both are gone now. But the fall of Morsi in July 2013 was a turning point. We discovered that the Mubarak days, although tough on us poor people, were better than the chaos we faced since the revolution. Many supporters of Hosni Mubarak, known here as Mubarak remnants, have found their champion, current President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. He has a military background like Mubarak, and supporters say he has an open mind to deal with all sects as long as they were peaceful. So to the Mubarak remnants, Sisi seems a safe bet. The next phase is crucial for Mubarak's group. They are preparing for the upcoming parliamentary elections. They have the expertise and money to garner a fair share in the next assembly. They could return as a major force in the new Egypt. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.